I feel for people. I don't think for people. When I work for, with people, I have a feeling for them. I don't think about them. Because this is a family. That's why most of the time people think like the church. No, the church is a, the church is a different entity. We are a family. That's why we cannot be stopped. I don't see this as just an organization. I see it as a family. And when you come to this church, we are family. Yeah. And we walk like a family. And we move like a family. We are not doing church where we can. No, we are interested in the people. And we love the people. Want to see their progress. Because this is a family that God has given to us. Many people in a family, they can do so many things in their family. Some family meetings, they can contribute. And why can't we do the same? Sometimes I feel that like selfishness comes in when, it, when the church looks like it's for a person but not for God. One person can build a mansion and hundred people are in a church. They are building a church and they are so struggling. When one person alone builds an estate. Go to some church. One person has built an estate because it's a money that will generate into his personal account. The person will do it. But when it's for eternity and prosperity and for the future of the church on board, many people, they cannot sacrifice because no of us not taking place. Are we together here? Why can't we do same for God? Have you ever talked about it? When most of the buildings that we see here is built by one person, not a group. But you can have a group that is contributing to build that building and you will see what will happen there because everybody is thinking about themselves. And most of the time, sometimes I don't blame the church because it feel like, sometimes they feel like maybe it's a person, is a pastor. And most of, that's why sometimes it look like, amen? 